everyone, Siren here talking to you today from my garden and today I'll be talking further about my assistant manager role with Sophie Kennard of SK Artists. This role broadened my experience rapidly beyond artist liaison and stage management into the day-to-day -day management of artists. There were many aspects to this role but one of the main responsibilities was to maintain these social media accounts for all the artists come up with social media marketing plans for their accounts and to also oversee the marketing for single or EP rollout plans. Another one of my responsibilities was to maintain the shared diaries between the manager, the artist and the booking agent. This allowed me to further expand my networking with booking agents and promoters. Another aspect of the role was to manage the data collection in regards to PRS and PPL. I had to ensure that the correct fees were paid and revenues earned. It's only right that the artists wanted to ensure they got the right royalties. Managers assistants must also ensure that all ticket platforms are up to date with the events that the artists are playing platforms such as Skiddle and Resident Advisor. It's really important because people need to know where the artist is playing and when, and when they can buy tickets. Another aspect is to ensure that all deadlines are met and that projects continue to run smoothly throughout. And when required, I would have to act as the first point of contact, for example, if Sophie was away or in meetings. It was whilst I was working for Sophie that I learned what it meant to advance a show. This experience then enabled me to apply for and get a job at Ashwaya Ibiza as the Artist Liaison and Logistics Manager. I'll talk further about my role at Ashwaya, what it entailed and who I met in another video, but it was the combined experience of working for Sophie and Ashwaya that led me to get a three month internship in a travel management role for Paul Van Dyke in Berlin. Again, this is something I'll talk more about in another video. By this point in my journey, my partner had bought me my first pair of decks, which were CDJ 400s. And uh, with a quick Google search, you'll realize that they are old <laughs> and they are not so easy to use, but are definitely a good way to learn. If you enjoyed part three of my journey, please hit like. And if you want to hear part four, then hit subscribe. <laughs>